Hello guys and welcome to another log of Digimon Pendulum Color Nature Spirits and for today's log we have Kabuterimon yes this is the other line of beetles that's very interesting next to Kuagamon so it's deliberate because I just raised the Kuagamon I deliberately wanted to feature the next very relevant line of Kabuterimon evolutions so before we continue today's log, I just have to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets, you've come to the right channel because I document every Digimon that I raise and I upload at least twice a week, sometimes every day. So if you like such content, go ahead and shock the like and subscribe button with Kabuterimon's electric shock um, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Alright, let's get down to today's log. We have Kabuterimon and as usual, we start with etymology and origin of his name. And we will explore its profile on Wikimon and Digimon.net while Kabuterimon idols around in Digimon's house. So, Kabuterimon, name, etymology, um, its origin of its name comes from the word, uh, the Japanese term Kabutomushi, which is basically the Japanese word for rhinoceros beetle. So, this is very popular in a lot of Japanese um, manga materials whenever they talk about these two beetles, there's always this rivalry between the rhinoceros beetle, Kabuto Mushi, and the stag beetle, Kuagata Mushi. So even we have that in Metabots as well, uh, one of the other uh, um, manga or anime franchise, uh, the ones about the fighting robots, you have the Kuaga, uh, Kuagata type robot and the Kabuto type robot. So it's the same. Right, um, they like to have this reference between the rhinoceros and the stag beetle kind of rivalry. So yeah, this is Kabuterimon. And uh, let's see his profile. Even for a newly discovered Digimon, Kabuterimon is highly unusual. Though it's unclear how it came to be an insect type, it is understood to have the power of an ant and the defense system of a beetle. As you would expect from an insect, it only thinks about survival and will do anything to ensure it. Hostile towards a virus, Digimon, Kabuterimon will attack one on sight without mercy. Its head is made from metal, granting it incredible defense. Its special move is Electro Shocker. Very interesting. And unlike the Kuagamon profile, Kabuterimon's profile doesn't explicitly mention anything about this uh, foul island and folder continent uh, lore. Because, uh, like I mentioned in the Kuagamon log, which you can check out there in the playlist as well, uh, Kuagamon's log, uh, profile actually explicitly mentions about uh, the Kuagamon found in Folder Continent is stronger than the ones found on Foul Island. In other words, the Kuagamon on Digimon Pendulum Nature Spirits is a lot stronger than the Kuagamon found on Digital Monsters version 4. Because Foul Island is referring to the Digimon that were released in version 1 to 4 in the original brick device. And Folder Continent are Digimon that are found in Digimon Pendulum onwards. Right, so uh, it's to explain the power creep that they have put in place in the form of a lore. <laughs> so Kabuterimon also has that power creep thing because Kabuterimon appeared in Digimon uh, Digital Monsters version 2. So if you see our Digimon color version 2 you will see Kabuterimon sprite there as well and now we are looking at Kabuterimon sprite in pendulum nature spirits and i was also looking back at some of these uh, sprite differences although this is probably something we should talk about in the sprite part of it um Kuagamon's sprite in the pendulum color nature spirits is slightly different from the one from digimon uh, version 4, also Digimon Color. So if you look at the logs and you put them side by side, uh, the standard sprite looks the same, 16 by 16 pixel, but the animation is a bit different. The happy animation and the angry animation, they are slightly different. Um, the happy animation, Kuagamon in Digimon Pendulum Color looks a bit happier. So I suppose the same changes we'll probably see here on the Kabuterimon sprite as well. But anyway, there's a lot about Sprite. We can talk about Sprite later. Meanwhile, let's talk about evolution conditions. That's relevant about its profile. So, Kabuterimon's profile 
it's evolution condition. And when we talk about this, we need to talk about humulos.com, the awesome website that I go to. This website is everything that is everything that I need whenever I raise Digimon, whether it's on the Vital Bracelet or the Digimon Pendulum Color or Digimon Pendulum a uh, Digimon Color or uh, when it was the Digital Monsters X series as well everything we have it here on Humulos.com site which is awesome so his site has all these uh, evolution conditions and that's how we managed to raise every Digimon that I want and uh, I can even plan out my evolution route so for Carbotary Mon's evolution condition in our case Tentomon in order to evolve to Carbotary Mon needs at least one condition heart which I had I don't make too many care mistakes and to have four efforts right so you have to train about 16 times each four times of training gives you one effort hard so I had to train 16 times to get to Kabuterimon uh, you could also evolve to Kabuterimon via Angoramon with zero condition hearts and zero effort so interesting I'm not sure why it's such a harsh condition you have to treat it so badly in order to evolve to Kabuterimon because Kabuterimon arguably is one of the strongest champions in the roster and that's the reason why to evolve to Kabuterimon requires so much training on Tentomon's part yeah and speaking of this part this is very different uh, kind of feeling when I'm looking at Kabuterimon so similar to Kuhagamon, Kabuterimon has been rather elusive for me back in the days as well when I was uh, playing on the Digimon Pendulum Nature Spirits, the original device. Uh, interestingly, unlike Kuagamon, which I never ever managed to raise one, Kabuterimon, I actually was able to raise it once and once only with my classmate, I remember. So both of us had the Nature Spirits Pendulum. He had the grey and blue grey with blue buttons uh, which is what we see now on Digimon Pendulum color this color combination mine was the grey with black buttons and we were all just trying to play through our nature spirits device and he managed to evolve to Kabuterimon so we were all surprised because we had no idea how to get it we have been circling around getting Totamon and you know Geckomon and Starmon and he suddenly had Kabuterimon, so we were so shocked. I remember feeling so surprised and we had no idea how we did it. Of course, what actually happened was he did excessive training. So um, we didn't know how and slowly, slowly we realized and we tried to uncover what did he do differently that allowed him to evolve to Kabuterimon and we realized that it was because he emptied his DP. <laughs> so basically, every time you train on the older model, you to, by training twice you will deplete one energy on your dp and he basically drained everything that tento one had so that means he trained a lot right and in doing so that's how he managed to evolve to carbotary more he trained like 40 plus times i think so after understanding that uh was probably the cause that's where we realized that oh training actually plays a big part and this actually helped with uh, obtaining one of my favorite digimon on digimon pendulum uh, wind guardians uh, version 4 much later so eventually if we talk about uh, and if we if bandai does release digimon pendulum color version 4 wind guardians which i think they pretty sure i think they will do so uh, we will talk more about that but that Kabuterimon from my friend's device was the start of understanding that hey, actually raising Digimon on the Digimon Pendulum training is actually a very important variable. So that was the first time we finally understood one of the key factors that we didn't know about it before. Uh, but of course it could be it would be painfully obvious now on hindsight and uh, probably for to those who already have the training guides. Like I said, with the training guides, with evolution conditions, it makes a lot more sense uh, and it seems a lot more playable. But without that, playing in the blind, it was just so difficult. So once again, I'm just so thankful to have such websites at humulos.com. Please do check it out. That's enough for Carbotary Mon's evolution conditions. Let's take a closer look at its sprite, shall we? Alright, and here we have Carbotary Mon's sprite on the bracelet. I think it looks amazing. 
and yeah it looks so good like it's so well colored but of course we have seen this before as well just like Kuagamon we have seen Kabuterimon sprite on the version 4 uh, uh, sorry for Kabuterimon is version 2 on for Kuagamon is version 4 but it's still slightly different like I mentioned a bit earlier in the video uh, the sprite of for Kabuterimon although when it's static looks the same but the happy animation the angry animation is slightly different as well so uh, if you want, you can check out the Kabuterimon uh, version 2 log that I have there as well. It looks a bit different in terms of its uh, happy and angry animation. But let's check out feeding it a piece of uh, meat, shall we? Uh, because, uh, oh, uh, protein. Since its heart, hunger hearts are full. I accidentally lost one condition heart. I'm a little bit sad. Usually I go for uh, perfect conditioning if I can uh, without losing any kind of mistakes unless I have to. Unfortunately, I made a boo-boo. I accidentally set the timer uh, because I was going to work. I usually put it to sleep so that I don't make any uh, care mistakes. But I forgot that it was going to evolve around that time. So Tentomon's bedtime was still like um, 8 o'clock and Kaputerimon's bedtime was 9. So I set it at 8 p.m. Uh, and then it evolved like maybe 10 minutes later after I set the time. And it became Kaputerimon and it was awake. And it was awake until it was supposed to sleep and I didn't know so I didn't put it to sleep so I lost one can mistake I didn't turn off the light so it's all right hopefully he still evolves to that lurkabatari on as planned uh, just need to be more careful if I lose one more or two more condition hearts that's it right I'm out I have to redo this again so I have two condition hearts gotta be careful all right, that was his eating animation. Hope you saw that. We can always feed him again, no harm. Oh, boom, boom, <laughs> cool. All right, let's see the training animation. It's gonna be awesome. Red, gotta shake it fast. There we go. All right, check out the fireball, the red fireball. And we were so excited to see a fireball. I mean, in Pendulum, it was like not many Digimon had the fireball, unlike your original device where ev every roster would have two Digimon shooting fireballs. Anyway, the fireball animation was always cool. Just that, you know, it was, it became more elusive on the pendulum because everyone had unique training anime, uh, training, um, you know, what's that word for it? Projectile sprites, right? So fireball suddenly became something unique. To a few Digimon. That was Kabuterimon. That was his happy and angry animation. That was cool. Let's do it again. Just for the sake of it. Just old time sake. Ah, I really like it. Alright. This is the happy animation. Because he hit Mega Hit. Alright. And then we do it one more time. Just because I like Kabuterimon so much. But this is a different kind of nostalgia. It was so cool to finally see Kawaterimon back then, you know. Because we have been hitting the same Digimon again and again. Yeah, Kawaterimon. Alright, and since we need to get some battles done anyway, in order for it to evolve, let's capture some battles. And we'll capture a win here, hopefully. On Otamamon. The next enemy after Otamamon is Godzumon and I probably will be very conservative and not fight it. Even though Kabuterimon is champion and Godzumon is rookie, Vaccine is still weak to ch data. Uh, Kabuterimon is a Vaccine type, Godzumon is a data type. So RNG could work against us here. So the conservative me will not fight Godzumon and will just quit. And I can just keep fighting Otamamon that will ensure his high win rate uh, for Kabuterimon's evolution, which is ne needed because you need a win rate of 80% anyway. So that's the way I would play it, and uh, that's this part. Let's see the evening animation, ah, the evening sky, and we have Kabuterimon saying no. No. Kabuterimon says no. It's cool. And then we have the sleeping animation. When he sleeps at night. 
as he's sleeping. And I like the way that he sleeps feet up. That's super cute. Very, very cute. And that's it for today's vlog on Computer Mon. If you haven't already, please go ahead and shock the like and subscribe button with Computer Mon's electric shocker and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!